Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson has demanded a report in the next 24 hours on Wednesday night's jailbreak at the Falmouth Police Lockup. Mario Morrison, O'Neill Demetrius, Travon Lawson and Adrian Stewart cut their way out of the facility through a vent. Reputed leader of the Rosetown-based discipline gang Urel Ruxi James has been shot dead two months after he was attacked at the Spartan Health Club in St. Andrew. Police sources say his body was discovered in a car in St. Andrew in the vicinity of Dunrobin. An American diplomat is now hospitalized in stable condition after his car crashed in Norbrook, St. Andrew. The car of the diplomat ran off the road about 1 o'clock Thursday morning, then hit into the wall of an apartment complex. Chief Justice Brian Sykes says come September it will begin to take weeks, not years, to complete divorce cases and validate wills. Sykes also announced plans to change the way cases are listed in the criminal courts as part of the strategy to reduce the backlog of cases crippling the courts. In sports, Chris Binney and Lewis Walter secured comfortable wins in their squash men's singles round of 64 matches at the Commonwealth Games. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $125.31, the British pound sterling for $176.40, and the Canadian dollar for $98.35. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies across northeastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across most parishes. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.